Hey everybody, welcome back to Fairville Plays Monster Train. Usually I would make a joke about this game having a stupid name, but I mean the joke kind of writes itself. I will say I accidentally started a new run, so our win streak is back down to zero. I didn't actually play. I, I promise you, I do not play this game uh, off camera. Because I'm not a coward. What am I going to do? Play for like 50 hours off camera, then come back and be like, Oh, everything's unlocked. Oh, look at how good I am. Now, nah, what's the fun in that, okay? Either way, let's... It's surprising to me how Hellhorned is the only clan that we haven't won with. So I, let's do Hellhorned random. Let's go for it. And also, there was an update. Covenant rank 3 also we hit. Major battles now have an additional enemy. Sweet. Whatever. Bring it on, boo. D bring it on. I'm ready. Who, who would you like to see with it? Well, we got the Stygian. Okay, ascending a unit could be massive. Offering token is good. And sacrifice imp. So, kind of a dead card right now. What are you doing? Temper the strength of your units. It's the Sat Boy. So, how do you deal with the Sat Boy? When you summon the second unit during a turn, you grant three. We had this last turn. Incant abilities trigger an additional time. I mean, it's not really the best for us because I don't think we're going to have too many incants, but... Yeah, armor and rage. It turns you into kind of a tank. Yeah, I'm okay with that. I will say, you know, it's weird that we haven't won with the with basically what I'm considering to be like the starting easiest class, but maybe it's because I just don't know how to deal with them. We were able to get through Stygian. Well, I mean, I like I, I'm saying this like we're done with these clans, but <coughs> excuse me. We were able to get through Stygian. We were able to get through uh, Umbra. Look at these golden train stewards, man. I love this. Okay, let's go for a win. So these guys are annoying, but honestly, him kind of being like a tank right now, it's, like, it's pretty good. As long as you kill, you get armor. So I'm okay with that. So you're doing like 20 damage. You're going to lose two on the next floor. I mean, it's still quite a bit. I don't want to like lose a train steward because like, I hate saying it, but right now they're kind of like important to me, right? You also have 10 armor. Um, that's like a huge issue for us. This is not an easy challenge. I want to make it perfectly clear. So we torch, excuse me, we torch you, get a little bit of money. What's the plan right now? No, I, I, I don't even have one, dude. Draw one, discard, ascend a unit. You know what? Skirt, bring them up. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like, you could also, like, bring up one of these dudes. Get him popped off. Draw, discard. I don't really know what we're looking for. Okay, well, I mean, I guess we could get another one of these. Draw, discard, and there you go. We're out. Okay. It's it's, it's a spicy deck. It'll be interested in seeing how the Stygian kind of works with um, the Hellhorned. Primarily because... I don't think they would. Well, Stygian is... is... How do you want to do this? Stygian is... Um... More or less, and I guess not even more or less, Stygian straight up is spell-based. Which might actually be like, oh no, so apparently there's like a faster game speed now. Yeah, Super Ultra. Let's go, dude, we pogging, okay. I do not like how all of you are getting through, but you're only doing one damage, so I mean like really I, I don't necessarily care. We could try to get rid of the dead weight, which in fact did work. And now check this out, you put the train steward, you ascend him up. If anything, we're playing with some new mechanics. <laughs> So, I guess there's like, you know, there's something good to be said about that. You do four damage. We really like gotta start getting rid of some of these boys, huh? That's a lot of anger getting through though. I'm kinda digging it right now. Okay. So yeah, this this deck right now is just basically, we're, we're getting ready. It's not good, but we're getting ready and the rage is subsiding with him. If we could keep this rage going, I think we have like a decent plan, but why didn't you just play that, dude? Okay, a lot of unnecessary pyro damage, but this is fine. Um, yeah, I, maybe we should focus more on uh, March of Shields, huh? I think you're strictly better. And, and just keep in mind that units can move, which actually might be a good thing. Apply spell weakness to an enemy. Not bad. I mean, Crypt Offering's pretty good, considering we have two of the Offering Tokens. Is like, it's, it's not bad. 60 damage to the front enemy and then push it back. But it's also like, it's three mana for free, but we could probably like play around with it. Yeah, okay. I know on the last run we had like a really... Incant is double, right? Incant's abilities trigger an additional time. So you will get two rage. It's not good, but it's better. 
I mean, we kind of need a tank, honestly. Steelworker is a tank, but I mean, like, Hellhorn has better tanks. I need damage. Last run, it was, like, straight up. Units were, like, the the piece de la resistance. Right now, I think it's going to be our spells that are kind of the piece de la, le, de la resistance, baby. So let's try to, like, let's get a Hellhorn unit. I could use, like, a big tanky boy. We did not get a, a, a big tanky boy. We did get kind of a dps -y boy. It's a, it's a dangerous one. I don't think Stygian has much in the way of, like, cards that are not little babies. What do you want to do with this, huh? You can make you for free, which is pretty good. It's 10 armor, and you get to move. Upgraded spell, 20 magic power, and consume. So, I mean, you just become, like, disgusting. But, I mean, I don't think that's really necessarily worth it. You could turn you into a 70. I guess we need to make a decision, like, now rather than later. Is Are we going to... Uh, first of all, I'm going to do that. The question, and honestly, the thing that we need to work out right now is, like, are we going to go Imp Deck? Imp Deck, Stygian. Go another spell to reduce the cost? I mean, I'll take it, dude. I mean... I think the more free spells we have, the better. But what else? Magic Power? I think that's also, like, pretty decent. You can have, like, a decent Torch... Which isn't bad. 16 damage. I mean, like, it's strictly just amazing. There's no reason not to. And I hate saying it, but I mean, you might as well make it free. Then if we do come across a duplication, we could just, like, purge all the, the, the non-worthy cards from the deck. It's okay. We're going to have to put in some work. I hate doing this, but on the second encounter, yes, you turn that on for another unit draft. We need a tank. We don't need a lot. We just need, like, one or two. One, two, maybe three. Maybe four decent tanky boys. So you gotta go. You, you're doing nine damage each. Are you out of your freaking mind? Oh my god. Well. Because I'm not a fan of like... Not a fan of any of this, really. I mean, we can encant up here to double rage you. It's pretty good. Even though I know all the rage is gonna subside by the time it gets up there. But, you know, what do you want from me, dude? Okay, so you're dying. You're doing seven hits each, huh? I mean, let's get rid of you. It doesn't really change things, but I do want you to go. And we could pop you back here. You're not going to die, but you're not going to have, like, a good day either. And those guys are going to quit their way all the way up. Dude, I didn't even notice it. Okay, this is bad. Breathe respite. March of shields. Have some armor. You're still going to die. How about now? Okay, you're not dying. It's getting better. How about now? Okay, way better. How about now? Okay, three damage is pretty good. How about we pop one of you there? We have, like, a decent deck to deal with, like, I think up to Daedalus. After Daedalus... Yo, check this out. No, never mind. Hold on. Yo, check this out. Skrr! Skrr! If anything, I'm learning how to use Ascend. Because now we have, like, a monster... Like, a monstrous first floor up there. As stupid as this is, I think you do this up here. Just to, like, get the incants going. It's not good. But, I mean, it's something. and I mean, like, we might as well as... Never mind. I was going to say we could ascend ourselves another train steward, but I don't want people to think that I actually like train stewards, you know? It's, it's not good for my public image. Okay, so you're all dying. I'm going to do this out of spite, as I normally do. And I guess, yeah, dude, having dead weight in the deck isn't necessarily a bad thing now that you have, a, you know, an easier way of removing cards. We're still looking for our one tank, but I think we're starting to put together, like, an idea. <laughs> All right, so we need to decide now if we're taking imps. And I think the answer is yes. I think we take imps. Why? Oh, man, I don't know. Helico Crystals is really good. and it, Dude, it's a good enough damaging spell to take. Incant, huh? I mean, our starting relic does kind of push us towards taking incants. We just need something to put in front of them so they don't die, dude. That's, like, what we're doing. And Hellvent, it's, it's too dangerous to go for that. I do kind of want an artifact, and also I wouldn't mind another Stygian. Rage does not decay. When you draw a card, its cost is randomized between 0 and 3 energy. Shit, okay. Well... I know I said we were going for a win, but now we're just going for, like, insensity. Like, you know, just nonsensical ease. Sweep. Strike. Apply Frostbite 3. So you're a sweeping unit that applies Frostbite. That's pretty good. 
But you're a sweeping unit that applies spell weakness. That's even better. I'll take that, because I would really much like to get spell weakness if we are going for a spell deck, but also I think we're going for an imp deck, so like, I don't know, man. This runs all over the place. You can pay 25 coins or or pyre health for a small chance at an artifact. We, we got money in the bank. Go ahead. Okay. We still got money in the bank. Okay. I don't know how much. I'll, I'll do one more. A hundred coins for an artifact is a fair trade. Look at that. Grants two sacks of frostbite each time it, it, it is applied. Frostbite does not decay. We're getting... Yo, okay, I'm, I'm noticing it, which means that I'm getting better at the game and your boy is a genius, okay? I'm not... I'm gonna try to win this run, but I think we're, like, we're too far spread. We have to, like, pick a direction and go with it. By the way, yes, this, like, the Sneko eye that we picked up is just gonna ruin everything. Like, there's no point in planning at this point. Like, whatever happens, happens. Oh my god, look at, look at this hand, dude. So you have to be hit twice to pop. That's fine. Man... This might be, like, amazing, or it might have been the biggest mistake I've ever made in my life. Alright, well, Hornbreaker Prince, you gotta go. You might as well get the Siren there. You might as well start buffing. Molten Imp is actually... It's not bad. We could actually have some use with this. Not enough capacity to play you. But remember, we have Ascend, right? Not Descend. Yeah, so we can Ascend a unit. But I really don't want to put anything down here. Well... It's not that bad, honestly. 2-4, and then you're healing. I mean, like, we could kill you. You have 10? Yeah, but you're sweep. And spell weakness. That's pretty good. So, like, pretty much everything here is dead. And then on top of that, we could play you for free. And then since you're not dying immediately, we can ascend you up, assuming we get that card, which I know is kind of a stretch. But, yeah, we got it. Okay. So, basically, what's our plan here? To make, like, one super floor? I don't know if that's, like, the best idea, but I don't want you to die. Hold on, we got we have things to we have things to work out here. <laughs> so we could offering totem on this floor to get the incant, and then we could get rid of this, even though it's like even though it's one energy, it doesn't really matter because like it's 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 still free. After that, I think we ascend you. You're dying, which is not really what I like to see, but you know what? That's fair. Okay. Okay. Okay, this is still fine. This is still fine. You got two, two, you, okay, so this is the floor in which you do not play unless you can ascend a unit. And we kind of can, I hate to say it, but, like, I don't really want to do it. Impressive isn't going to do much for us, so you might as well, like, just ascend this train steward and just, yeah, th this floor is buffed up. And the fact that you're not dying makes me very upset. Okay, get, ri get rid of the dead weight. It's not necessary. I mean, you might as well, thank you, the incant is going well. It sucks here because now our, our spell weakness is on the same floor as our main dude right now. And, and honestly, dude, this run is going to make me go cross-eyed. There's, like, just so much stuff happening. So we want to build up, like, a secondary floor up here. Which I don't necessarily want to do right now because that thing's going to pop. But, I mean, we could also, like... Like, like what, what, what am I supposed to do here? Do I put the siren here and then, like, ascend it up? Because this is, like, kind of gross. Incant. <laughs> Offer. We get another boy that's free. Might as well get rid of the three cost uh, ascend here. Frozen Lance to get another double incantation. Like, I'm not saying that this, honestly, it doesn't, it, it's not good and it's not sustainable. But, like, my god. Alright, so you got 8 HP. What if I were to, like, ascend you up there to catch you? Which incants you. You're dying. Hold on. We could play you for free. Which is great. So you're still dying. We could offer you and then get rid of the crypt. Okay. You're still dying. I'm not a huge fan of you dying. What What is causing you to die? Ah, it's that. Well, I mean... You gotta get rid of the dude. So you should live. It's, it's close. And this is gonna hurt. But, like, you're gonna live. You're not making it up to the pyre. Okay, I think we, we gotta pick a direction and go with it, dude. The Daedalus fight almost never lasts this long for me. I'm a little embarrassed, if I'm being honest, but, like, we're, we're, we're kind of, like, chonking around at this point. You might as well offer for the incantation. You have a Molten Imp, which is pretty good, I guess. How do you want to do this? Get rid of the three-cost Train Stewards. You want to make Train Stewards worse? Just make them cost three. 
Right, that's the imp that deals damage. Does it's not the imp that applies rage. Oh no, it is the imp that implies that applies rage. Never mind, ignore me. I have no idea what's going on. Well, I mean more blood for the main blood floor. Okay, so that's disgusting. Okay. Dude, I think we have something here with this like ascending mechanic that we're kind of playing around with. You need Yeah, but hear me out. Why do you need armor? I mean, you're more of a tank right now, so what if we, like, move you to the front? Does that change things? Quite a bit, actually. We can play you. And now you're dead. Okay. I... Look. It's beautiful. Even with, like, the new ultra speed, that's still <laughs> taking quite a bit. Okay, we need, we need to focus up. Impolate's good, but we don't have the stuff for it. It's a dead card right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Ice Empire we know is really good with spell weakness. The issue is that like you need to like build up the spell weakness. That's like pretty much it. Spike of the Hellhorns also like it's not bad. Apply rage and armor, which we kinda need. I'm gonna take it, it might be a mistake. Incant for rage. Cold Kalia. Sweep. Yo, we do have a frostbite. I mean it's I'm not saying that we're not trying to build our stuff in all directions, but like you know, okay. Give me give me more energy per turn. Because I, I, I think for the first time in forever, we don't actually care about capacity because we're kind of just ignoring it. We can make like some decent spells, but we can also make some decent units, and I think that's more important for us right now. So let's let's go the let's go the cowards route. Let's see what we can do. So giving a unit multi strike I think is worth. Absolutely. Because, like, so do you apply 10 stacks of Frostbite? And remember, this is Sweep. So I think giving this unit multi-strike is, like, genius. So it's, it's 10 poison damage that do not go away. So it's 10 additional damage every turn. Yeah, it's pretty good. Assuming it works that way. If it doesn't work that way, like, whatever. We got 20. We got enough to give you, like, a little bit more. Mmm... Start you with Rage 7. Start you with Rage 7. Maybe, like, yeah, start you with Rage 11. And then apply more Rage. It's not, like, what I would consider to be a good upgrade. But it's a pretty decent upgrade. And now we have to, like, start cutting some of the fat away from this deck. And right now, I promise, one day I'll do a, I'll build a deck that is exclusive Train Stewards. I'll do it. Don't think that I won't. I'll find a way to do it. But I think this is better. And yeah, slay the gain 10 armor and then also like rage. It's pretty good. This dude actually becoming a tank is it's new for me. But maybe it's what we need to win, you know? Maybe he, the the true tank that we've been looking for all this time was inside us all along. And also there's no point in strategizing anything because I have random energy costs for like everything. So like screw it. Okay. So this is great. One, two, three. Eh, we can't, uh, we can't build, like, a super floor here, which kind of sucks, but it's not the worst thing for us. So, like, but here's, like, the most, like, the disgusting part about it is that we still kind of can. Man, if we had an Ascend, it'd be so good. You're doing one damage. I really don't care. I'd rather, like, just put some poison on you and then, like, end it. You are an issue, though, and I do not like you. But, yeah, let's do 16 damage. You're still taking one. Like, he's going to get to our pyre, but I guess you do this and, like, buff him all the way up. Yeah, that seems like a decent first turn. The spell weakness is going through. I might have put the wrong unit in the wrong place. My mistake. What do you want from me? Okay, you're dying. Is there anything we could do to stop the death? I mean, we could give you armor, which I kind of want to give to you. But you're not dying, right? Can you move your, your speech bubble, please? Thank you. I'm not... I'm, look, I'm sure that the lore you're sharing is, like, very deep and well thought out, but I just don't care. Okay, that's a problem. <laughs> what is this thing called? Volatile Gauge? Yeah, the fact that it does that to my, uh, my, my contritions here, my scourges, I'm not a huge fan of how that's working out, if I'm being, like, completely honest with you. So... You can't for rage, huh? three i can't put you anywhere i mean we could put you here to buff up this first floor which i think is actually a good idea and then we could torch you to get rid of you you're still going to be causing issues but 
I mean, hopefully not in the future. And, like, what do you do up here? Do you just, like, start making, like, a siren floor? Impressive is probably also the next one to go. Now that I'm looking at it, yeah. Yeah, the Absolvers are going to be... They're going to cause issues for us. They're going to cause some major issues for us. So you're getting through. I'm kind of okay with that. Might as well play you here, soak up a hit. Okay, we're... It's... it's look, we're learning. You get ascended. Welcome to, like, the big boy floor. Congratulations, you've made it. I mean, you might as well, right? We don't get any incants because I'm on the wrong floor, you fool. This isn't really, like... I don't know if this is good or not. Like, straight up. I I feel like I'm in, like, a train, <laughs> ironically. And, like, it's been shaking a lot and you're not really sure if, like, uh, you know, are the rails on right? What's going on? Are we going to be in trouble here? Do I just, like, ascend you and make, like, super floor? Yeah, I guess we ascend you and make super floor. And here, have, like, a free train steward. He's going to die. Probably should have been paying attention to that, but whatever. What do I care about a train steward, you know? I like to do 50 damage. But I like for you to get the kill. So in a way, that was like a smart thing to do. And you could just, like, you could just leave. So there you go. Train Stewart's not gonna die. I'm basically waiting for this all to derail and, like, prove to myself that this was a bad idea. But it hasn't happened yet. So you might as well just keep going with it. We're gonna play a Frozen Lance here. Just for the incants. And for a second, I was really worried that, like, my spells would hit my dude. But... That's not how that works. You can't do that, right? Probably? I don't know, actually. Now that I think about it. All right, well, ascend. Join your brothers in the Holy Land. Might as well. We can offer and still, like, get rid of the Thor's hammer. It's it's pretty decent. And you know what, dude? Honestly, pushing them these guys to the... Or pushing them to the back is, is pretty good. You're dead, right? Why would I even play you? Okay. That's fine. Give me the resolutions. I know, I know. Everything hurts. And we can actually play through them. So this is great. Yo, okay, this deck, it's, it's working. I hate saying it, but it's working. Now, when we get to the more, like, spicy bosses, it's not going to work. But right now, I'm going to enjoy it. One day, I promise, I will, like, get a Hellhorn win. A second March of Shields could be good, but I think I want to go for the Rage Serum. Apply silence enemy units, and it's a permafrost consumable card from the Stygian. Apply days one to enemy units, and then discard your hand. You know what? Give me the pyre. Give me the ice and pyre. I, I, <laughs> this deck is getting way too fat, man. Oh, baby. But actually, I guess it's not a bad thing, because we do get a plus three draw with this um, Sneko Eye. So what do you want to do here? I think upgrading your spells and removing, like, cutting a little bit of fat is good. I know we're going to be saying no to, like, a little bit of gold and potentially some good artifacts. But I think our artifact selection is, like, pretty solid right now. Okay, what are you? Ember deposits. When you could take removing some of the ember deposits and hauling them. Okay, blah, blah, blah. What do you want? Granting you something later on. See, that's what I'm looking for. Okay. Get abandoned stab. Gain two vengeful shards. Plus one energy per turn for every two Blight cards in your deck. So we would get one extra energy, I believe, because we have... This counts as a Blight, and I think that's the only one, honestly. What about you? Get three Calcified Embers now. Get upgrade versions later. Yeah, okay, let's do that. <laughs> I think this is the one that we had, like, last episode or a couple episodes ago where we're like, we, we could play them to get more energy. <coughs> that seems pretty good. And now let's upgrade our spells, dude. So we could upgrade a spell to cost less. Now I think about it, what's the point of that? It doesn't matter. All of our costs are randomized. Now upgrade a spell to remove, consume, and gain an energy cost is actually, like, pretty good for us. In a way. Now that I think... I mean, we could also, like, just make, like, a free rage serum. What are we looking at here? Getting you to 100 is nice. I don't think it's, like, worth it. You're gonna think I'm like crazy here, but like I actually don't like any of this. Well, so what happens when I do this to you? You can't do it. Okay, that answers that question. What happens if I were to like, you know, let's just make like a free rage serum. Is it good? I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, it is. No, it's it's good. It's good. And 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 you might as well. We got twenty dollars left. Let's make like another upgraded like frozen lance has been doing pretty good for us. Maybe actually the helical crystals because we do have spell weakness. You haven't collected all the rewards? No, 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 no. I don't want to start the battle. You're right. I would like to remove some stuff. Okay. Okay. So we can't lose these because I think we need to keep them and then we get something later is how the, the text was worded to me. What do you want to get rid of? Like, honestly, dude. Because we can make super floor, I don't want to get rid of the train stewards, but we don't need three torches. That's just a little bit too much for me. And, and, and I don't want to rely on it. Oh, it's this monster. Okay, as much as I, I would like a random artifact, these boys having spikes? No. Especially that this one has 95 HP. So I think you just go normal. And you kind of like... <coughs> excuse me. With the volatile gauge, you're kind of just like enjoying life, you know? You two damage each. But every time I kill one of you, you get plus two attack. So a sweeping unit here is pretty good. Yeah, I mean like... I think that's what you want to do. So would you rather have... Which one would you rather have in the front? Probably the one with a little bit more HP. And it's going to cost like a lot of energy here. But that's fine too. And we don't... And it's going to it's gonna be weird. But we actually don't want to like kill these guys right now. Because that's just going to make them do more damage. They're going to do 8 damage and, and then they're all going to die. That's pretty good. And then we're basically waiting for some armor up here too. So I'm actually not too upset about how this is working out. I guess you go up here, and then like worst case scenario, we could ascend some of you later on. So yeah, we don't want to we don't want to do anything. We just want that to happen. Great. So now you're gonna die, especially with this dude in the back. So it's a little it's a little bit risque. We could purge you for free, which is honestly like really nice. So sure, let's do that. How you doing up here? You're you're fine, dude. You're loving the life right now. So now I'm thinking, like, how do we save you? <laughs> five? Five damage from you. Hmm. Dude, it's, it's a spicy one. We could give you eight armor. Which I think is, like, you're still gonna die? We might have just, like, screwed up. I don't know, true. No, yeah, you're, you're fine with that. You, you're going to be close, and you're not going to be having a good time. You probably should have just ascended, now that I think about it, but that's fine. Honestly, having, like, a sweeper down here, even though this is not, like, it's not sustainable, it's still pretty good. All right, so there's there's our way out. We could ascend you up to, like, the Holy Land, which is great. So I think, like, we just do that. But now that I think about it, what would I rather have? The Frostbite unit? The frostbite unit. I'd rather have the frostbite unit. We don't need this right now, and dude, we need a tank. My god, do we need a tank. Let's kill you. You guys are gonna take care of yourself. I'm happy to see it. You're good to go. You're taking a little bit, a little bit too much damage there. I, I couldn't help but notice. What if I were to do that? Does that help you? Doesn't really help you. Alright, okay. Dude, we're, we're learning. We're learning. I'm liking this. And you know what? You should get a train steward just to soak up the hits. If we're keeping him in the deck, we're going to use him as human meat bags, and there's really nothing anybody could do about it. Okay, so this is great. Really like to see this. March of Shields is pretty much what we're looking for, for here. And you know what? You just come up to, like, the good floor. Yeah. Let's purge this to get rid of it. Might as well. And we have a brief respite. So you're taking four. That's fine. You should also have some rage, now that I think about it. And, like, I hate doing it, but, like, just in case the boss can get through us, we should have something up here to, like, catch him. Let's do that. Let's do that. We can get rid of this, because I don't really care about it. And also, I guess we should... Does that mess us up? Yeah, we're taking twice as much damage now. Yeah, I mean, you know, you didn't really have to check that math. You knew it was a bad idea. Oh, right. This dude has, um... Couldn't help but remember... Uh, in case you forgot, this dude has eight stacks of stealth, which I might have made a huge mistake now that I think about it. <coughs> so you train Stuart, you use this boy up here to kill, I mean, something here. I made a, a little bit of a mistake. We can't play you. We can't play anything. We're done. 
What's the chance that, like, we could do something here? Wow, we're not even touching him. Okay, so mistakes were made. You do 14 damage? That's kind of, like, ridiculous. If I die again to this dude, I'm gonna be so upset. So we, we do have a way out. But see, it doesn't hit, though. So basically, what I'm thinking is, like, we could ascend you up. But still, you hit for 14. And you have to get hit seven times before all of your stuff's gone. Like, that's not acceptable. Well, if we're doing this, you might as well, like, put you here. You have one HP. Okay, so we put you here. We got three energy left to play around with. We need to make decisions now. And I think it's, like, ascend you. Bring you to the front with the March of Shields. Ah, oh, baby. Too bad we don't have an imp. <laughs> Something I hate having to say. And it's not even like a matter of giving anybody rage. Just because like we have to like hit them. That's not gonna do anything. You might as well. Dude, yeah, we're screwed. We're absolutely, like, 100% screwed. We're not even going to start to deal damage to them. Okay, what about now? We're still not even going to start to deal damage to them. Okay, what about now? Knew that wasn't going to do anything. That was a test on you. <laughs> okay, how about if we do Offering Totem? I mean, if it's free. It's free, right? So, might as well get rid of that. Okay, it still doesn't change anything, and we're probably going to lose. This floor is, like, it's stag, dude. Like, playing spells doesn't do anything. Yeah, we're dead. Okay. Okay. Not a fan of losing to this dude, like, twice. But to be fair, that deck was, like, hella wonky. Hey, if you like the episode, all 32 minutes of it must be a speedrun. Ha 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 ha. Uh, hit the subscribe button. This way you'll be able to see more. We got some more videos coming up in the future. More content coming to you almost every day. Assuming, you know, the YouTube uploader actually does its job. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the Fade Tribe. I want to thank everybody. We're getting close to 150 subs. It's, it's, you know what? Milestones are being hit. Not necessarily in this video. It's kind of a, you know, could have, could have used a little bit of work. But you know what? It is what it is. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. See ya.